on board, here board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Um, hey, I was wondering, listen, why are we in the woods? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, we, we've seen civilizations far in the east, west, everywhere, but we just, just keep staying, you know, it's safer here. Really? Safer? Of course. Uh... This, this, this is my... I'm not so sure. For one, we have to deal with animals, plants that want to kill us. Even sometimes the ground wants to kill us. So... Why? Precisely? Don't, it's, it's just that, oh, I get it. What, what, what's the thing? I, I, I completely understand. Just because the wildlife wants to kill you, and that this is purgatory, you just assume that people here are evil. It would kill you just the same. You do! You do! Your science, your science is proof of everything! You you really think they would kill you if so they saw you? Newsflash, not everyone is out to get you! Seriously! I'm pretty sure... Well... Uh, maybe one of the warlords would, but still! <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't know. Listen, listen. Dad. D Dad? Well, you are my guardian, technically, and you did, you were, you're the only one taking care of me. I just thought, no, no, Dad's fine, Dad's fine. <laughs> just give me a minute. Don't you dare cry while I'm trying to scold you for for your assumptions and your biases of people you haven't even met. Okay, that's fair. So what do you suggest? Let's go into one of these cities or towns or whatever. I mean, you still got your little uh, satchel and whatnot, the things you use to hold all the materials you gathered and whatnot. I'm pretty sure, unless they're just about as strong as you are, or hire people who are strong enough to at least survive, this stuff would fetch a pretty penny. But I need this to survive. Heck, the, the monster meat that we... Stop, stop calling it monster meat. Here, it's just meat. That's, that's all it is. And monster plants. They're just plants here. Come on. Think about it. I suppose. Wait, what kind of residents do live here? Oh, 
I don't really know. What? Hey, it's not like I have many, much experience with other people besides you. You know what? That's fair. That, that, that is fair. I can at least agree to that, yeah. <sighs> we can go tomorrow. I'm tired. Wouldn't you rather sleep in a nice, comfy bed? My bed is comfy <laughs> for you since you've been rubbing it for so long. But think about it. So you're positive no one will try to kill me. Wait, you mentioned warlords. No, never mind that. Let's just go. Wish this, they find their way to a nice little town, not many buildings, so if anything does pop off, chances are Izuku and Van can take them. The only thing is, Izuku's still on guard. His weapon isn't out, it's sheathed, but he's had his hand clutching it, just in case. Because he doesn't trust anyone for shit right now. But the thing is, trying is trying to be friendly, despite the looks they get. <sighs> I knew it was gonna happen. Look at them; they're terrified of me. No, they're scared of me. Um. What are you talking about? The fact. Do you see any other pets like me? Thanks to all the time I spent with you, thanks to all the upgrades I've been given, enhancements, thanks to that fruit you've been feeding me. Yeah, I'm assume I'm bigger than I should be. I mean, What's going to worse? I am your mount. Uh. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I can. I can see that. But come on, you're not that old. I mean, if anything, yes, you have been. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, they are terrifying you. We, gotta, we might need to find a way to make you look less conspicuous. Don't worry. If anything, that just means that they aren't going to try anything. Let's, oh, let's see if we can trade any of our stuff there. At which, yes, Fang was right. It's a lot compared to... What they would usually see in a town like that, considering that most of them would die if they tried to go up against some of the beasties Izuku had to face, let alone the ones Fang helped him kill. So, they get a hefty sum, but they can't sell off everything because the town doesn't have nearly enough money. Izuku happened to actually donate it, but this is what he knows is. Everyone's crowding around him as soon as he, they hear the word donate. He sees starving people. People wearing nothing but rags. And is, he's wondering what is going on here. So everyone is having their hands out right now. He's saying he's going to donate. He wasn't expecting... Of donating at least, let's say, 50 tons worth of meat. Let alone the amount of vegetables and fruits he's so graciously to give people. Everyone's so much more happy. Even when he goes to the tavern and he's wondering, he's like, uh... Do you stay here? As soon as someone sees him, it's like, Our Savior has arrived. Help. 
and his wherever that thing is beast dad I'm gonna kill them <clears throat> no no he's, he's not beast he's my uh hunting dog what excuse me hunting dog dad okay 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 I saved him, raised him, so he's technically, oh, well, he's like family to me, he's, he's like my son, so treat him as you would treat me, as yes, you would expect, everyone is crowding around him, not having their hands out, but just thanking him so graciously, to a point where he's like, all his drinks are on the house, as Izuku finally gets to try alcohol for the first time. And him not having tasted it before, it's not really for him. Luckily, he can't get drunk. They say the resistance to poison. But, get enough, get enough in it, and he's definitely a little bit buzzed. To the point, at least, that he's like, okay, this still ain't too bad. Just as he just looks at Fang, just devour a whole carcass of what he could assume to be a purgatory version of a cow. Uh, uh, guy yeah. rooms around here. Yeah, so how, how long would you be staying? What was that? N nothing. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> he's not a thing. As long as you have more of these delicious edibles, I don't care. Okay, we'll stay for three days. <laughs> really? Yes. Um, that'll, just, that'll cost you five. What? I mean, ten silver. <clears throat> what? <laughs> and Zuko, he's listening to this man's heartbeat. He is lying his ass off, lying through his teeth. You know what? Yeah, let's go somewhere else. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, 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 I guess we should just. Is it just walking away? This man's like, damn it, I don't fucked up. Okay, okay, it's copper. Oh, thank you for being so generous. You're paying and going to his room. It's like, damn it. I was hoping he was going to be idiot but uh, why would you take a try to take advantage of him he's helped us out of the kindness of his heart yeah well, I wish he could have been kinder and believe my lie do you know how hard it is to run this place now well granted we <laughs> Don't have much food or whatnot here. And whose fault is that? You're right. As in, Izuku trying to get some sleeves, right? Just, seriously, he really tried to scam us? Yeah, I know. Yeah, some nerd trying that shit. But at the very least, <laughs> Uh, but something is off here. The other lack of food is definitely a red flag, don't you think? Yeah. It's almost like... Oh, no! What? This started to remind me of those um, 
games or, or what, whatever. It, like a, a mission or side mission, main mission, whatever it's called. <sighs> what are you talking about? I don't know anything really about games. From what I can recall from your memory, you ain't played many of them. But maybe you see some commercials on some TV shows or something. But whatever the fuck TV is. But still, Dad. Explain. Okay. As he has zoo, we're just like, okay, there's this great evil or something that's extorting the people to the point where he's, oh. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, I can see that. I can definitely. Oh, oh dear, we, we might need to help these people. What? Yeah. Why? Why should we help them even more than we have? But, I, oh come on, why not? We can't save everyone. We might have to let them handle it themselves. How? The fact that they're in this position in the first place proves that they can't protect themselves. <sighs> Listen, I... As you remember, oh wait, that's right. What would All Might do? Just... <sighs> yep. He would do it. He would save the people. No doubt in my mind. Damn! I really want to stay out of this. Damn you all my for being such an icon. His next day, Zuku, after getting a good night's sleep and eating God knows how much. <sighs> okay. So what's the problem? What's the deal here? Huh? Well, there's an obvious reason, you know, why you try to scam me and why food seems to be so scarce around here. Uh, don't play like I'm dumb. Otherwise, I may be inclined to retaliate. Dad, shut. As yes, Izuku and Vang are arguing back and forth in Izuku's mind. Remember, no one else can hear Fang. As like, oh my God, this guy is talking to a wild animal. I I must I I don't know what he's gonna do to me if I don't give him what he wants. Okay, fine. Uh, the mayor around here has been hoarding the food and taking whatever food we do produce as well as money as taxes and he has a lot of people backing him so we may have uh, so he has numbers against you. Yeah, mercenaries. Not people you want to fuck with. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So, if I take care of this here, uh, mayor here, I can uh, expect the fixing of this messed upness. I, I wouldn't oh, come on I just believe me and my friend here can easily deal with them are you sure because you're a nice guy and we don't want you in there getting hurt no no need to worry worst case scenario I'm gone. And everything goes back to normal. You can't leave. Uh, 
what? Listen, I don't, I don't get it, but listen here. I understand that you might be scared, but I want to help. That's all I want. And besides, you're, uh, you ain't got much of a choice. Fine, fine. Where, well, okay, good. Where is he? Just here, take this map, and here's where he lives. Upon getting there, he's going to see he's like, that is not a house, that is a mansion. Borderline castle he's living in. Well, <clears throat> might as well get to the ass kicking. Dad, what? I think you've been here too long. <laughs> Please, come on. No, Dad. Seriously, you, you, you. From looking from your memories, you were nothing like this back on Earth. Nothing at all like this. <laughs> Yeah, so what? Uh, listen, you, you are dangerous enough. Why can't you try to be a diplomat? Ain't no need to use a, what's it, how you say it? No need to use a chainsaw when a scalpel will do or what, what was the expression? To just, just try and be civil. <sighs> but that could take forever. I just want to get this over with and be gone. Really? Yeah. Fine. Fine. Just, please, promise me something. What? Only kill in the self defense. Wait, I'm your dad. Why do you get to make the stakes? Why, why do you get to make the rules? Because right now, you're impatient. Uh, I can't believe I'm getting told off by my own. Alright, whatever. Fine, I'll do it your way. Fine, just uh, such a pain. Thanks, Dad. Him knock on the door. Who is it? Hey, I had to talk to the one in charge. No, sense door in his face. Can I, can I burst down the door now? No, no, we had to try to be more, you know. <laughs> Listen, son, you're making this very difficult for me. Please, Dad, to just do this for me. Can you? <sighs> Fine. Fine. Uh, whatever, just... Him knocking again. What do you want? I would just like to pay tribute to the mayor. I would like to hand it to him personally. Show me his tribute. Him just holding a bag full of fruits, meats, and all sorts of delectables. Now come on. Come on inside, get yourself something cool to drink. <laughs> of course, Barbary always works. As soon as you see the mountain 
of loot. He's really pissed right now. Like, huh. Wow. I mean, so many people must respect this guy. Yes. Yes. I, I, I. And then he sees it start to slowly sink into the bottom of the floor. He was, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, that, it, it's never enough. Okay, now I'm even more curious. Him face to face with the mirrors, and so you hear about Brandon tribute. Wait, who the hell are you? I come on behalf of the townspeople. Uh, this is a fucking setup. Oh, yes, it is. <clears throat> so. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> no mind. Either start giving them back their shit or cut back on these taxes so they ain't struggling and starving to a point where there ain't gonna be no one to pay you tribute or taxes. Or, I can, uh, bust your head open. Ah! Damn! Shh, shut up. Shut up. Hey, the grown folks are talking. <clears throat> as good an offer as that is, I... Am going to have to respectfully decline. Really? Yeah. Can't do it. Can't or won't. Both. All right. <clears throat> it's like it's killing time. What? As Izuku takes out his daggers and is prepared to cleave the poor man in two. This is when five people show up and block Izuku's assault. Okay, who are you? <sighs> Sorry, but we can't have you taking our employer. He suspected something like this would happen, or at least the people of the town could easily overrun this place given their numbers and determination despite being hungry. Okay. Fine. What? Well, how about this? I can pay you guys. No. Sorry, we have loyalty to whoever pays us. So, you can either leave and let things get going the way they are and uh, we let you live or we could just kill you here now hmm well looks like I'm going need the girl for this the what as he dual wheels katanas wait what's that made of oh it's just some bones of these teeth of Something that almost killed me, but I decided to kill it. <laughs> you know. As, yeah, they start shaking. It's like. Uh, what is this? What is this? It's, that's a. That's not a. That can't be right. What? What is it? Uh. uh Sir, I don't think we can fight him. What? Do as you're told to. I don't know. Self preservation feels pretty good right now. Might just need to tell him what's going on. Say, no. It's none of his business. Either tell him or we all die. Then who's going to take care of him? Take care of who? Izuku just ready. He has a smirk on his face as he charges at them. He's like, wait, 
wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait. Please wait. <sighs> Fine. Just see things in the movies like, this better be a good reason why, this better be good enough to curb my bloodlust. Oh, God. Oh, believe me, he's always watching, but he might be enjoying the show, too. <clears throat> Either way, come with us downstairs. Uh, uh, mm, you want to replace that, please? It's the only way for you to understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. <sighs> Fine. And he sees these tubes just running th all throughout the place. He then smells like food. And. Wait, is that. Uh, <coughs> oh, that stinks! <laughs> what died <in> here? <coughs> yeah, all will be revealed soon enough. As this gigantic ass door shows up. As then, upon opening it, he sees. What the hell? As then he sees mountains of food as just piling. As then they are just gone in instant. But then is when he. Oh, Whoever's eating that food is causing that stank, and it's part. Oh my god, that shit, isn't it? It's a high grade fertilizer, yes. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Is, yes, he's who gets closer, and then he knows his. Wait, what is there a girl here? Her name is Uchaka Oraka. And okay. Explain what she's doing. Well, we gift her the food and she gives us with the brown gold. Wait, are you selling her? Yes, we are selling her excrement as fertilizer as well as units for the crops and livestock. That, that's just, that's, I, that is just very disgusting. You know that, right? Well, you need to understand how we, it, how it came to this. Flashback. As yes, this mayor has just gone to his territory. He's pretty much been duped into taking it. In which he's. The soil quality here is shit. And yes, he bought supplies and everything to help upstart this place, but then it's like, why? You damned us. People pretty much going. To, Thinking about uh, revolting against him. That is until he's pretty much chased out of town and falls into a cave. A witch he knows is a very powerful odor. Him realizing, oh wait, this is... This is crap. Oh, it's the guy crap. But then he notices all the plant life that grows. As he realizes this is some high value crap. <laughs> he's so, so amazed by what he's seen. He forgot he wasn't wearing no damn gloves. As he just takes it back and starts to spread it throughout the whole fields. As they realize, oh wait, we're not damned after all. And then... 
upon realizing, oh wait, this is pretty much the end of the line, we can't find any more, this is when he hears a loud growl. As he realizes, that's Oraka. A young child Oraka. Just saying that she is starving. Her upon seeing this guy, she starts to affect the damn gravity. Gravity, damn. Pretty much making it so he gets slammed into some stalagmites. Or just stalactites. Either way, he gets skewered. Her about to eat him. He just has no choice but to make a deal with her. He can keep her fed if she can keep. Well. Uh, yeah. Providing the fertilizer. Her, she's kind of disgusted that. That's, but also. Well, that does explain why it's suddenly gone, and so is my food supply dwindled so much. So, yes. The only thing is, as she gets older, she gets stronger. The stronger she is, the more she has to eat, the more energy she has to expend. But that also makes the quality of the soil that much better. So... Those mountains disappearing? Yeah. That was Oraka. She devours, consumes so much. Mountains of food is pretty much. Pfft. Hmm. Wow. So, fast forward. That's what happened. Do the people know about this? No. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, wait. The booze? Yeah. The graves were grown thanks to her. <laughs> oh god. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I feel so dirty. Mary just looking at him sideways, like, how do you think I feel when I first realized what it was? When I was touching it with my bare hands, how do you think I felt? It's all rockers. What's the problem? Is it good? <laughs> I have no choice. Taking it out, he's like about to kill all rockers. Her like, what the fuck is this? I'm going to save these people from you and your shit. Uh, I take great offense to that. I don't give a fuck. This marriage is like, please don't kill her. We need her. The town people are suffering because of your ass. At least, I guess, her ass. Again, Aurora is... You some bitch. That, that's rude as all hell. But then he gets a good look at her and he starts to realize, oh wait, something else is different. As his eyes start to actually evaluate Oraka. It's not just that she it's not just her eating that causes the High grade shit. I mean, fertilizer. It's honest to God something she's been implanted with. Is it could turn her to turn around? Her like, no, you are not stabbing me in the back. It's like, Shh. bitch, please. In which, yes. He knows his, oh, wait, there's. This. Where did you get this scar? Huh? Did you do this? Like, no, no, no. I just didn't. I just thought it was a sore subject, so I didn't ask. Hmm. Whatever. 
<sighs> From what I can tell, this thing can convert whatever it passes through it into a high grade fertilizer. It's kind of like a composting, but is it good? This is gonna hurt. What as he sticks his hand straight to her back and rips out this device. Her screaming as this takes more than a second. Let's say five to ten seconds at least. So she feels this pain. Pain is like dad what the fuck? He's like just healing potion. We don't have that. Well, this fruit does its shit. Boom. Her slowly healing as she still writhes in pain and agony. It's her like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so like, Here's your corp culprit right here. What is that? Like, I don't know what this device is. As then it starts moving, it's like, oh my god, this thing is organic. I'm just dropping it. As then it just starts to contort and move around, just getting bigger and bigger until it turns into a giant ass worm. Oraka throwing it up over, it's like, oh my god, that thing was inside me. Everyone else is looking. What is that? Is then Izuku and Fang just start getting pissed because this is the exact same worm that yeah took out that pack. Fang and Tanfi Izuku's pack so effortlessly and left Fang orphaned. At least motherless so they are quick to tear this thing a new asshole so to speak as then it starts to slowly decay but as soon as they do notice something different happening it, it's been in Oraka's body for so long it's It's pregnant. It was a woman. So chances are there's going to be more of these things here. But then Izuku realizes something else. A bejeweled eye, it looks like. Hey, bang, you seen one of these before? No. Mer Holy shit. What? That's. That's the. St that's the stone of gluttony. Or at least devouring. What's it do? A. Anyone who has it has uncontrollable hunger and they. Can't stop eating. Let alone, chances are they're gonna. That explains why the, that poor worm got so big. Heck, it's technically been feeding off the nutrients that, that Oraka has been devouring. It transferred on that hunger to her, and as it gives. Her the uncontrollable hunger. Oraka gives it nutrients so it can technically grow, but how come? Hmm. Then he gets a closer look. Oh, it was going through a metamorphosis. Weird. So it's not. Is this really supposed to be this big? So, uh, huh? Kind of smells. Let me see that. Rude. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this it's not from here. What? Yeah. Yeah, it's from a place in hell actually. Where yeah, gluttony is the everything. What? Yeah. Are you saying this thing is an invasive species? Well, was it? well the, the, uh, we have them here. They're not supposed to be this big. It's matched with the whole stone of gluttony embedded in it. Huh. Okay. 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 So how would it even get here? Mm, I will suspect someone who resides in hell would have to bring it. Either on purpose or by accident. Then leave. What? It's, uh, you know, a resident of hell. Would Satan be able to do such a thing? Oh, yes, he can go anywhere but, well, heaven. He would need a vessel for that, as well as for Earth, and, you know. <sighs> okay. Now, I am thoroughly pissed. Dad, what's wrong? That some bitch. He set me up to fail. He's probably hoping that one of these damn things would kill me. Okay. Now what about these things? Cause as long as you could get the clothes. I don't see no stones of gluttonous. Oh, they may actually be the natives around here. Really? And then, yes, they start crawling and burrowing through the ground, and then Izuku notices these bastards are fast. But then they start to see the ground move around them. Is okay? Do I need to start killing? And then he's like, "Wait!" Wasn't well, now, Mayor. I I have been patient in choosing not to kill you. So what is it? Well, look. And then, well, look at that. She was just scooping up clump of soil. This is some high quality shit. Just look at Oraka and just realize ew, 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 ew. No, no. Yo, get it. That means it was the worms instead of the woman. We don't need her. As long as they don't have a growth spur from the demonic energy. So, yeah, they're just regular worms who are very hungry. Huh. So, does this mean what I think it means? Yes! We don't have to worry. The citizens don't have to worry about the taxes being so high. I can lower them to the point where... It would be highway robbery to me. <sighs> Good. As then Izuku's leaving, but then Oraka just grabs him. Please don't go. What? Please don't leave. Uh. What? Why? Why? I want to thank you. Why? Because <sighs> before 
I didn't even know about this. And I didn't know I was hurting so many people. Well, now you know. Pace out. No, please don't leave. Look. I got more things to do. So if you don't mind, release me. Is it marriage? Or... Well, we don't need her, so you can have her. Like you, you just can't give me a person. Why not? It's not legal. No, it's 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 legal here. Are you saying you guys have slaves here? Well, yes. I mean, they're treated better than what you fucking humans have been doing. What? Wait, you guys, you, you knew. Oh, yeah, heck, I'm no idiot. Of course you're human. Well, you used to be. I don't know what the fuck you are now. But, huh. Oh. Hmm. So you knew I was from Earth. Oh, yeah. Technically, everyone pretty sure is from Earth. We just decided not to, you know. We just like it here better. We don't have to worry about our judgment or anything. It's just us. Huh. I never thought of it like that. That, that. That's actually very interesting. Yeah. But anyway, no. You are not c coming with me, Oraka. Please, no. Just just keep that thought in mind. Her just falling down. Is like, oh, please. No. Please. Her stomach growling. You're just hungry and you want someone to feed you, don't you? No, but that would help. And considering this is your fault, I saved your life. Who knows when that thing was going to hatch? At least emerge from its chrysalis or whatever the fuck it's called. Don't be like that. I thought we were friends. I don't know you. I've never seen you before until now. So you can just miss me with that friend bullshit. <laughs> Fine. Good. Good. If you don't mind, I'm going to tell the town folks some good news. Upon realizing he was victorious, as well as the reasoning, they are hella grateful, as you would have considered. Only thing is, like, oh, wait, so we've been plowing, we can, we've been, oh, hey, don't worry, I was disgusted too. But then again, it's kind of, it makes sense of why they would use it like that, considering yeah. We still feel so dirty. Yeah. Doesn't matter. I done what I set out to do. I helped you. So, bye. Just leaving. As then. Mayor just shows up, so apologetic and everything, and then he introduces his new daughter. Them knowing that who she is now, they're a little, they're bitter. But now everything's kind of better. You don't have to worry about starving as much. And then, he, wait, 
I didn't expect you guys to be so lively. Where'd you get all this food from? <sighs> Don't tell me. Yeah, we got it from uh, that boy and his uh, pet. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, are you serious? Morocco just... He provides you guys with this much food? Yeah. Her looking... Dad, can I ask you a favor? Within reason, I want to marry him. But, I, I say within reason, chances of, of anything, he's probably never coming back. I like him. Yeah. Sure. Mm. Yeah, of course you like him. Man, I mean, you fall in love quicker than a Disney princess. But, but if anything, hopefully he does make his way back to our territory some time. And then he just comes back and is like, I forgot, I had, I said I one more day. Uh, are you serious? What? Oraka's like, I... We're meant to be together. What? The fact that you're back is proof of it. Don't. Nope. 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 None of that. Nope. Uh-uh. Did you get hit in the head or something? I'm not here for you. I'm here to use up my... my time. I have to finish what I started. Which, technically I did. But I still have a free room, technically. And it's getting late anyway. So Zivu is trying his best to just relax. But Oraka is not leaving him alone. <laughs> at all. She's trying to seduce Izuku, but she's... He ain't having none of it. Really, he just wants to relax for however long he decides to stay. Which, like to her, she... Yes, he might even... Up leaving in the middle of the night. It gets so awkward to the point where he's pretty much. <sighs> Listen. I can understand that you're a little smitten with me. But you don't even know me. You can't just go around saying you love someone without even knowing them. Then let's get to know each other. My name is Zugendoya. That's my son, Fang. Wait, what? You're... Oh, is that a problem? Too bad. Uh, Oh, darn. Looks like it's not going to work out. It's... Dad. Look, it's not like I can actually take her with me. Why not? I'm going back to Earth after my time is up. After a week on Earth passes by, I'm going home. I got things to do, and thanks to this power I've gained, ooh, oh, thank you. Uh, the heavens above. Chizori, yeah, I'm going to be a hero like I've been one. Dad. Look. As he sees Oraka's crying. Is... No. 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 I, I, I'm not going to be swayed by some fucking tears. Hey, I ain't, I ain't no little bitch. I ain't doing that. Nope. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Nope. You can pass me that bullshit. 
or just start to float everything. He's like, oh my god, you have gravity powers. I'm, oh, one half, I make her angry, she might, oh, on the other hand, if I, damn, you're making this difficult. Mm, let me think, let me think, let me think. How can I get her to leave me alone? Um, I, I can't. I have traveling to do. And you know how parents can be. They would even let you join me. I could talk with them. Fine. Talk with them tomorrow. Izuku does not stay long enough. He leaves in the middle of the night while Oraka is sleeping in his bed, hugging a pillow, thinking it's him.